Robinia pseudoacacia is the black locust, is another one of our native plants. Um, this has been used quite a bit in landscape situations. Uh, there is a, a purple flowering variety called purple robe, which is most commonly found commercially, um, but uh, uh, can eventually be a large tree, kind of an umbrella-like foliage. Um, it grows very fast. This isn't a tree that, this is one of those that it's a fast grower, but the wood is actually very durable and very hard. Um, this is a legume. It fixes its own nitrogen. It doesn't have to have a fertile soil. It will grow in just about any situation. Um, in Michael Durr's book, he calls it an, uh, an alley cat of a tree. So it will grow in just about any situation. Um, the wood is actually used quite a bit for firewood. It has about the same British thermal units, which is uh, a measure of heat, you know, in fuel, as uh, a lower grade coal. So it's actually, it, it's used for firewood quite a bit. And some would say, you know, possibly that's the best use for it. But um, uh, it, it does have some ornamental qualities. Um, the, the plant has a, uh, a pinnately compound leaf. So right here, this area would be the, the complete leaf attached to the stem back here. So it's an alternate leaf arrangement, pinnately compound. Uh, the leaflets themselves are rounded, no teeth, kind of a little bit oh, bluish green, um, kind of a soft green color. The fall color is yellow. Um, it does uh, create some suckers around the base, and there are typically, in, in, the, in the, at least the youth, um, there are spines on the branches. As the plant gets older, it doesn't produce as many spines, but it, it can even have spines down the trunk, which is not necessarily desirable in a landscape tree. The flowers are in clusters, very fragrant, white, um, showy, kind of pea-shaped clusters, um, uh, numerous across the tree. It's very showy and fragrant. Um, and on the purple flowering variety, it would be purple. Um, there's a seed pod with kind of flattened seeds. The stems are sort of, sort of a, a dull brown to a gray and typically have two thorns at each node. So identical shaped thorns in pairs along the stems. And many times these will stay on until the branch is, is bigger. Even along the trunk, you may find pairs of thorns along the trunk. Um, the bark is a kind of rough and furrowed, uh, sort of a, a, a medium gray, and occasionally this looks like it's twisting around the tree, but not always. Um, the, and as I mentioned before, the wood is, is very strong. It's used, used for firewood. Also, you know, the, the plant itself holds up well, durability. It does occasionally get some, uh, some blights that will take out a branch, so it's not the best long-lived tree, but if you happen to have one, there's, um, you know, no reason to get rid of it. It's maybe not best for all landscape situations.